back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Libra on what they say about you. Let's call in spirit with some wind chime time. <laughs> All right. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far, Libra. We are going to start with the Fairy Godmother Oracle, and this is going to give us a general idea on what people are saying about you. And then we'll use the tarot to identify who's doing the talking and what the outcome will be for you. So let's get started. What do we have for Libra? Okay. So there's some chatter here about you possibly making an announcement. And this announcement is pertaining to a relationship or a companionship specifically. So I'm getting vibes like, you know, somebody wants to announce an engagement or a pregnancy, um, perhaps even just like becoming official, like, yay, we're girlfriend and girlfriend or whatever it is. Um, all right, what else do we have for Libra, please? Ah. And then we have perception. So it looks like there might be some chatter about how you perceive a relationship in your life, uh, perhaps because of an announcement that you made, like on Facebook or something like that, you know, like, hey, I'm no longer, you know, it's complicated, now we're in a relationship, that kind of thing. So it looks like there might be a couple of people here talking about you. We're gonna, actually we'll do the Egyptian tarot. We're gonna see what the person that is saying this about you is like so that you can figure this out. What else do we have for Libra? All right, so we have Nine of Swords and the Six of Wands. I do feel like the Six of Wands is meant to be in the reverse so i think we have somebody here who is having trouble sleeping at night with the nine of swords they have a little bit of regret or remorse over the fact that they didn't win in a situation here so this could be somebody who um, felt like you were their competition in perhaps a love situation or this could be somebody who felt like they wanted to have success with you but they did not so this could be somebody that you did not choose i think it's the latter because we have two of swords here with the four of wands so there's somebody here who seems to be um perhaps a little bit in their feels about not being chosen and they're talking about whether or not you know the person that you chose over them like basically like she doesn't know what she's getting into kind of thing. We have the Six of Pentacles coming out. This is, well I should say flipping over. So this is hidden energy. If you're new to my channel, if it doesn't fall out, I consider that hidden energy. So we've got somebody here who is concerned about an equal give and take. So I think what's happening is this could be like an ex of yours that feels like they did better at like investing in the relationship than this person will do or has done so they're a little bit salty over not being chosen and with the knave of chalices it might be that they want to make an apology or make an offer of love to you because they don't feel like this person is worthy of you we have the four of swords coming out to speak to this person is also somebody that has gone through some amount of healing. Um, they may have spent the last couple of months, you know, kind of hibernating if they're in the United States like me, you know, maybe didn't want to deal with the winter weather. It snowed here in Minneapolis today, you guys, like I'm so over it. <laughs> but yeah, this the person who's saying this about you, they are a little bit salty about not being chosen by you. They want to make an offer to you possibly also an apology, but they don't feel like you would be down. <laughs> you probably wouldn't. <laughs> All right, what else do we have for Libra, please? All 
All right, so we've got the Magician and the King of Swords coming out here. So we've got we've got somebody who was maybe a little bit too biting with the tongue. So somebody who is a little bit harsh in what they would say, and also perhaps borderline like malicious. I just heard. So, you know, like this could be like a keyboard warrior, like somebody who says some pretty ridiculous or like rude shit to complete strangers kind of vibe. But I also think this is somebody who has had to look in the mirror. Look at how, because I feel like this is the same energy here, the magician and the king of the sword or king of swords, they're looking at each other, right? And they're like sizing each other up a little bit. So I think... The situation here, Libra, that you had with this masculine has made them look at themselves and they see themselves as maybe others do, perhaps for the first time in a long time, in terms of kind of questioning, like, I might have been a little bit of an asshole here. <laughs> but there's also an air with the magician here of somebody realizing that they have the ability to make some changes. So, it might not save things between you and them, but it might make them a better person. Let's hope, right? Alright, let's see. What else do we have for Libra, please? So, we do have a couple of cards that were flipped over before. And it's all about reaping what you sow. I think for hidden energy Libra it's important like the universe wants you to know that this person has learned a lesson from the situation here with you and there is karma right like somebody is maybe seeing some negative things happen because they weren't acting with compassion towards other people they were being a little bit selfish and with the knave of pentacles I'm getting the vibe that this is somebody who feels like I kind of have to start over again like I need to like learn from other people on how to do things differently so that I don't go down the same path of being a <laughs> being a dick dick <laughs> all right we have the queen of wands and the judgment card this is you here we have some you know feminine energy just kind of like holding people back because I get the sense this feminine energy has options but more importantly already has chosen somebody because we've got two people walking hand in hand here right she's already made the judgment call she already knows what's going on this is Anubis so I think this Queen of Wands here this feminine energy has found somebody who is willing to go on a journey of self-development you know like she saw in this person that they were willing to work on themselves and be honest and actually like you know not be like opposing the idea of accountability right this is somebody who is willing to develop on their own as well all right, we're going to get some additional clarity from the everyday tarot. What else do we have for Libra, please? What's the outcome here? Let's see what the outcome is for you, all right? I'll get a couple cards for you. And just a quick thank you to everyone for the likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I'm becoming a total data nerd looking at all the fun like stats on the videos and everything, so... Thank you for providing hours of entertainment. <laughs> All right, we have the Four of Cups. This is about rejection. So I think this is saying that if this person were to come forward and, you know, kind of ask for a second chance from you, Libra, there's a pretty good chance that you'd be like, mm, I'm good. And with the Hanged Man in reverse, this is because you've already made this decision. Like I said with the judgment card, there's something that you have found in someone else that gives you that honesty that you're looking for that this person did not offer you. And 
and this is justice for you because this person didn't value you the way that they should have when they had the opportunity to and as a result the universe brought somebody else in for you that was more deserving and with the three of swords in the reverse we've got someone here who's not going to break your heart this is somebody who wants to do right by you so i hope you enjoyed your reading libra this is beautiful energy so have a wonderful rest of your day thanks